चेक कर मोबाइल में कि भाई आ रहे Thanks guys for joining us. We'll start soon. I hope you guys can hear me clearly. Yeah, yeah, Rajan, we are doing workout today. Please give me thumbs up if you can hear me. Thanks. Okay, let's start. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sagar Diwan. He is Lavish Choudhury. We both are strength and conditioning coaches. Live from Chandigarh, the city beautiful. I would like to uh, say thanks to Fast Enough for uh, inviting us. And I will not give a big lecture on fitness because I, I can really talk a lot on this topic. But today we are here for for a practical session. Still, I will I will talk about the component of fitness. How how we can call a person fit. so the most important components in my book starts from mobility and stability and then goes to endurance then strength then power agility reaction so on so so in today's session we are doing animal flow and co exercises which will cover mobility stability and a bit of strength endurance part because we're going to do a lot of repetition of of few movements in upcoming sessions definitely will cover all the fitness components because i see lot of time people they don't they don't do everything in their in their workouts they just focus on one or two components for example a uh, lot of people they just do mobility and they don't take care of their strength which is also a very important part of uh, fitness so a lot of people they just do strength and they don't take care of their range of motion which is mobility and they become bodybuilders so it's very important to cover all the fitness components otherwise you will not achieve achieve your fitness goal so so in today's session we'll start with warm up a few jumps and three surya namaskar then we'll uh, show you uh, three animal flow movements and we'll give you rest and then after that we'll do core training so this is a two part workout first part is warm up and animal flow movement and the second part is a core training so within 15 seconds we're going to start our warm up i hope you guys can hear me clearly yeah so rajan we are doing animal flow and uh, core workout so guys we're going to start with warm up with few jumps and uh, surya namaskar so yeah it's every everything is clear so let's start with jumps just keep jumping keep jumping keep jumping now you going to twist change you jumping jacks Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Change. Few butt kicks. You wanna kick your butt with your heel. Change. 
range. High knees at low intensity, no need to go too fast. We are just trying to increase your heart rate and core temperature. Change. Hamstring kicks. Last five seconds. Three, two, and relax. Breathe in. We're going to do Surya Namaskars now. Follow this guy. You have to come in a Namaskar Mudra. Do backward bend. Go down. Go back with your right leg. Stretch your mid back. Go back and touch your heels on the ground and stretch your calves. Touch your knees on the ground. Chest and chin on the ground. Stretch your back. Go back. Touch your heels again on the ground. Come back with the right leg. If you are stuck here, hold it and stretch. Chest up, get up, touch your toes, backward bend, Namaskar Mudra. Again, Namaskar Mudra, backward bend, go down, right leg back. Go back and touch your heel on the ground. Touch your knees on the ground. Chest and chin on the ground. Cobra. Go back. Touch your heels on the ground. Stretch your calves. Come back with the right leg. Touch your toes. Backward bend and Namaskar Mudra. Guys, obviously warm up has to be dynamic, but but I can't see what you guys are doing. So I'm trying to teach you. So uh, in future, maybe we can increase the speed. That's why we started with jumping and also you can raise your body temperature. Okay, so first exercise is B switch. So you have to come in all four position. You can see in all four position, now from here, you're going to touch your palms on the heels without touching the knees on the ground. Hands will move little forward. That is a position, right? Now from here, you have to extend your one knee, come up. You can see the position of this leg. Yeah, it should not go in dorsiflexion. It has to be plantar flex. Now from here, you will try to touch your elbow. And you can see the position of the spine. Spine should not fall like this. It has to be stable. Go back to the same position. Touch your bum on the heels. Now do the same position as the other side. Come up, extend your knee, and touch your knee to the elbow. And you can see spine is straight. Go back. If you don't have enough strength in the legs, you can touch your knees on the ground. Your target is obviously not to touch your knees on the ground, but if you feel you're tired, you can touch your knees on the ground. Otherwise, process is same, you're doing alternate. One time right, other side, right, left, right, left. We are doing 100 repetition of this, 50 50 repetition each side. Guys, it's the most important thing to, is to maintain the mechanics. If your mechanics are good, you can actually increase the intensity in future. Today, our target is not to, to touch the intensity. We are just trying to maintain the right mechanics. We'll go for consistency, then we'll go for intensity. I, I, I feel, I, I hope this makes sense. So this is first exercise and it's not you have to finish all 100 repetitions in one go. Do it 18, 20, 25, 30, whatever you can manage to do at good speed, at, with, with good mechanics and, and keep taking a break in between and finish 100 repetitions. Right? So you're going to start with that. Come on, take your position. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to start now. Take your position. 
Go back. Handle forward. Okay, you count your own. Start. Come back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Keep breathing. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. I'll take a break. Keep going. Keep going. If you feel you can. Type if you have any question. Otherwise, keep going. We are done with twenty repetitions. It's very good for your shoulder strength, your core strength, and obviously your leg strength. You can see his posture. <laughs> which is the most important thing to maintain. Okay. Six, seven. After 20. Yeah, good. 28. 29. 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, I hope this is good now, 39, and 40. Can we take again, again a break? Sip of water. It's good if you have reload. It will uh, really help you recover fast. I hope you guys are enjoying. Give me thumbs up. Come on, over again, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 59, 60, that's very nice, feeling great, 60, that's very nice, Keep drinking water.
please message if there's any problem in voice in picture clarity or or anything else yeah ashish we can we can really talk about these things but but today we are here for a practical session but some some day definitely we'll we'll just come with a theory Okay. Yeah, we can we can go for another round. Sixty dance. This is beast reach, Rishab. Beast reach. This animal flow movement. Come on. Sixty one. Sixty two. Sixty three. You can see the spine position. Sixty four. Sixty five. Sixty six. Sixty-seven. Challenge yourself. Come on. Sixty-eight. Sixty-nine. But without cheating, without cheating with the technique. Seventy. Seventy-one. You can see his posture. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Seventy-five. Seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty. Up to you if you want to go for more. Up to you. He is trying to do twenty in one go, and taking a little bit rest. Up to you. How many repetitions you can do with the same technique? We all will follow the same technique. Repetition can vary. repetition is is about your endurance right technique has nothing to do with your endurance if you can if you can do do it properly then how many times you can do that's endurance it's up to you you know about your endurance but i am to say don't cheat with the technique and just do whatever you can manage and feel the fit last round to go guys come on i train you yeah 81 82 Eighty-three, 84 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 Ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, hundred. So we are done, but still we are giving time. Take your time. <coughs> Keep doing it. Yeah, just keep doing it. Type if if you have any question. How many repetition you have done? And give me thumbs up if if you are done with hundred repetitions. Have some water. Thirty seconds. After thirty seconds, we'll explain you next exercise. We are not doing so many exercises today. Our target is to learn the right technique, and and just do it. So in future, we can cover more more movements, more exercises. Few seconds to go. Okay, so we're gonna show you next exercise. 
that's called crab reach right so in beast reach we focus on the anterior portion the front part now we are going for the posterior right the back part so for the crab reach you have to come in this position <coughs> yeah one hand will come in between both legs now from here you have to go for the hip extension reach to the opposite side make sure you are rotating your t spine clear and go back to the same position change your hand opposite arm will come inside and now you will go towards the opposite hand make sure you are rotating from your t spine you are extending your hip nicely and come back right so this is called crab reach which really focuses on your bums right and and the mobility in your t spine everybody is struggling with back posture these days because we have to drive we have to sit in front of desk and using mobile a lot so this is very very good exercise to correct your posture as well right so we are starting with crab reach within 20 30 seconds i hope you 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 got the technique so we are doing 100 repetition of that alternate 50 50 same maintain the right technique and go for the repetition according to your endurance 10 repetition 15 30 whatever you can manage to do if you can finish 100 repetition one go go ahead there is no problem but make sure you you will you will follow the same technique every time in every repetition okay so we are going to start now take a position Yeah, I'll come here. Right here. Go up. Come back. Change. Rotate from the spine. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Keep breathing. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Really up to you guys. Twenty-two. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, starting a bomb, twenty nine. Thirty. I'm gonna take break here. Thirty repetition done. 
So you're doing crab reach. This is the basic. In future, we'll really hit other components as well, which is strength and your cardiovascular endurance as well. So, 30 done, you're going for more. 31. 32. 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, push yourself, 47, 48, 49, 50, I'm gonna take break, take break. 50 done, 50 more to go. Where do you own speed? There's no competition. This is the first session, so I don't want to go for more intensity. You just learn few movements which will help you really. Okay, we're going to move. 50 done. 51. 52. 53. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, I'll go for more, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, I'll take a break again. 
This is tough. This is not that easy if you do it properly. Last 20 repetition to go. Okay, let's, let's finish. 81. 82. Ninety. Last time to go. Ninety-one. Ninety-two. Ninety-three. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. 98, 2 to go, 99, and 100. And then guys, you just keep doing it. Let me know if you're done with your 100 repetitions. Give me a break for, for a few seconds, 30, 30 to 45 seconds, and, and we'll explain you uh, the next part of this workout, which is core. Have some water, take a break. Yes, yes, Rishabh. You're right. You can do that. But in today's class, our target is to learn the right technique. So whenever you're learning something, um, intensity has to be low. And, and you're trying to build endurance of particular those, those particular movements. So that's why in today's session, we are going for more repetitions and we're just going for two, uh, two exercises. So you can, your body can really understand the movement. And if you, you will try to go fast right now and your body is not ready, it's not only body, if your, if your nervous system is not ready to take these kind of exercises, so your system will collapse. Hello, Pringa, ma'am. Okay, so, so rest done. So now we're going to the second uh, part of this workout, which is core. So we are doing only two movements for 30 seconds each. First movement is bear crawl, forward, backward, bear crawl. See, you have to come in this position, all four where your hips are falling on the knees and your shoulders are falling on the, on the wrist. You can see this position. Now from here, you will move forward with right hand and the left leg and then opposite. It's a contrary movement. Six step and then come back. Right? It's about the space also. If you don't have much space, you can go for four step, four step forward and four step backward. 30 seconds. But now you, you're gonna go a little fast so you can really you know raise your heart rate as well. So take a position. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Forward. One, two, three, like that. 30 seconds you will do it. 30 seconds will give you a break. And after that, 30 seconds you're going for next exercise. That's called leg flutter. You have to come in a supine position. In supine position, you have to have your arms like this. Lift your head off the ground. Tiny core, lift your leg. 
you have to stay in this boat position. And now from here, your legs will flutter like this. Not all the way up, it's just this much. 30 seconds, relax. And again, we'll give you 30 seconds rest. So 30 seconds, bear crawl, 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds leg flutter, 30 seconds rest into three times. And done. So total six minute workout left. That's it. So we're going to start in a few seconds. Okay, take your position. 30 seconds, you will count your own. Ready guys? Go! 5 seconds. Make sure your spine is neutral. Make sure you don't have any, any kind of stress coming on the lower back. You should tighten your core. Keep your spine neutral. 23. And stop. 30 seconds done, 30 seconds rest. Next exercise is leg flutter. Ten seconds to go. Five. And go. <clears throat> Let's flutter. Come on, come on, come on. Again, keep your core tight. No pressure in the low back. 10 seconds to go, guys. Come on. Look at my feet position. Keep your feet in plantar flexion position and relax. This is one round, 30 second break. Two more rounds to go. When you're doing leg flutter, try to keep your feet like this. Not like this. It has to be like this and just cut the air like this without having any bend in the knee. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and be a crowd. Go for six steps, go for four steps, go for two steps, whatever you can manage with your with your space. But technique has to be the same. Knees off the ground by just one inch. Spine neutral, core engage. Stay solid, 10 seconds to go. Five. Two. And relax, 30 seconds rest. It's very nice. Ten seconds to go. Five. Take your position. Two, one, start. Yeah. You can see his arms are locked. Neck is neutral off the ground. He's activating the core nicely. Look at the leg position. If you do it properly, this is really tough for your core. It's not that easy. Push yourself. Come on. 10 seconds to go. 5. And relax. Good. One last round to go. Akash, I, I got your question. So guys, you can do one thing. If you have any questions like this, you can... You can uh, message me on my Facebook page, Sagar Dhawan Fitness World. But it's not possible to you know give answers uh, right now. So so five seconds. Come on, guys, take your position. Be a pro and go. This is the last round. Push yourself. You can go fast while maintaining the same same posture, which is very important. 
Go hard, go hard, go hard, you can go fast, go fast. 10 seconds to go. Come on, come on, come on, push yourself. 5. And relax, good. It's, it's challenging, it's challenging. Exercises are very basic, but if you do it properly, it will really challenge you. 15 seconds. Last exercise. Two, one, and go. Push yourself, push yourself. Come on, push yourself. Fifteen seconds. Look at my legs. Hold your core. Come on, five seconds, five seconds. Three. And relax. Very nice. Good workout, everyone. Hi, Sunny. It was really a good workout. Basic four exercises, two for animal flow movements and two for the core. I hope you guys learn new movements and you have, you have fun. Okay, so so just 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 not too much, obviously, you know, for the cool down because we didn't do any any strain exercises. But still, just come in this position and do down facing dog and hold, hold for few seconds. Lift your one leg off the ground. Normal breathing. Change your leg. Touch your heel on the ground. Feel good stretch in your calf and hamstring. Keep your spine neutral. Knee lock. Relax. We're doing Anahatasana. Puppy pose for, for your mid back. Make sure your hip is falling on the knee and touch your chin on the ground and stretch your mid back. No stress in the low back. Hold this position, breathing. Relax. For your hip flexor, come in this position. Push forward, tighten your bum, lift the arm up and lateral flexion. You should feel good stretch in this area. Leg change. Okay, everyone, we are done for the day. Uh, once again, thanks Fasten Up for inviting us and thanks all of you for joining us today. Um, we'll come back soon with, with more workouts, with new movements. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, guys. Good day.